Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to Courses Closed 2024. We have the first match of our semi-finals weekend. And uh, it is looking to be a good one in terms of name quality here. Today is a match for a banger name call here. Look at this, Emrek and Zudi, two titans of their respective scenes here. Giant, giant players. Uh, Emrek, despite struggling here in qualifiers, has been dominating for the last matches, just barely missing a defeat against a Boise Child player, which is why he's in the bracket, against a poor Zunida who's just had a rough bracket, honestly. But yeah, we'll see what goes down. This could get really spicy. I'm Sad Shiva, and I'm joined for the first time ever by the incredible Mavs. Yo, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Shiba. Yeah, first time we're uh, casted alongside each other here, and we got a pretty cool matchup, like you said. Some pretty big names just on paper, Emrek and Zudinator. Both players, I think, in this, uh, you know, in this version of Core Ace here, maybe seeding a little lower than both expected. You know, I think if you were to make a prediction on seedings, you'd expect both of these players to get a bit higher than they did. But, you know, coming into the tournament regardless, and they're going to meet here in the lower bracket, which is maybe a surprise to some people, but Emrek losing to us a job player in a banger matchup and actually falling down to the lower bracket, which is very, very unexpected. But here they are, and I think uh, for Zudi Nader, it's going to be a bit of an uphill battle going up against someone like Emrek. But we are going to be have, uh, having the bands come out here. It's going to be that Nomad 6, which is a heavy reading, heavy practice style of map. It's going to be gone. Uh, taking that, that one away from Zudi, and Zudi, of course, I think options for bands being that Nomad 5 and that DT2 is going to opt for the more volatile tapping pick, I would say, in that DT2. Yeah, not really surprised with these bands here. I feel like uh, Emrek, I think this Nomad 6 is definitely much more on the flowing heavy side, and uh, with that plus that general low AR comfort, I think Zudi does see an option to pounce, but I think Emmerich's more limiting one of those weaknesses and one of those maps that he really just isn't too comfortable on. Uh, DD2, way too obvious. I don't need to get into why that has been bad for Zudi, but uh, Crazy Backup Dancer is going to be the entry pick here. Hard Rock 2 picked by Emmerich here, which uh, although is very aim heavy, I'm a little surprised to see picked into Zudi this early into the map, especially before the second pre band stage. But as we get into the early sections of the map, we already see an early myth there from Zudi, and that seems to be all that's there so far. Uh, okay, I think it, so it was picked by Zudi, actually. Oh, we just had a little okay. bit of a correction there, yeah. Oh, okay, so picked okay. by Zudi, which does me. make more sense, because you you're me. right. You that, that would have been very surprising if this was picked by uh, Emrek in the Zudi first pick, because this map, extremely aim heavy. It's very, very small circles and uh, pretty much nothing but aim. So as you can see already, some of these linears completely brutal and Zudi finding an early miss, but there goes Emrek as well to follow up with a miss. Yeah, that big combo from Emrek building up to about 300 now, giving himself a little bit of score lead in the bank. But unfortunately for Zudi, despite having that combo advantage by about 50, she's not able to close anything out and hold any major combo. As we get by that final third section, these linears start to get very, very spaced and very, very long. And that's where that inconsistency starts to really ramp up. And you have to really keep yourself calm as it starts to ramp up in difficulty. And you see it here. These linears get brutal. And despite both players hitting it, Emrek holds that lead by about 30, 40 combo. And that just going to increase the score even more. This map's decently short as well, Mavs. You've only got a third of the map left to go, and Emrek just keeps on holding, and Zudi drops once again. Yeah, and only about 30, 40 seconds left in the map here, and with that combo drop from Zudi and a 120k lead for Emrek, it's looking like it's probably already going to be said and done, especially with that combo advantage he's got. He's just going to keep going, keep tearing up this map, or oh. almost hitting that vertical linear there. That is a brutally spaced pattern, but very well done here for Emrek to uh, probably get the uh, first break point on the board. Yeah, great start here for Emrek. This is one of those maps that I think is one of Zudi's good ballparks to go into against Emrek on this. Uh, not only a player who's favored to be on precision due to the very high area that she's very adapted to, but generally a very strong and consistent aim player. Those two comfort sides definitely seem to be on paper a great pick for Zudi, but unfortunately, Emrek, I mean, you just can't doubt the best player in the world, can you? And uh, no matter what you go against him, he always has that wildcard factor of just completely destroying any map he touches. And unfortunately, Hard Rock 2 is no exception. A good entry win here for Emrek. First breakpoint of the match here, and the first point, period. Yeah, always a scary pick, I think, to go into any matchup and pick the CS 7.8 map. First map of both players to play in the match. It's just scary for both players. Like, it always will be, and it always will be a little bit sort of RNG. You know, just having that really small circle map. You Maybe you're a bit shaky. Maybe you're a bit nervous. You're not fully, you know, accustomed to playing 
in the tournament and uh you know at the time you still got to warm up into the match a bit and yeah it can be very nerve-wracking so emrek does take the break point but you know with the format of this tournament these players have to pick the maps that they want very early because you've only got two maps to pick before the second lot of bands come through and if you don't get that pick out that you wanted to get then it might just end up getting banned and the same can be said here for emrek who of course is going to be opting to go for that nomad five which absolutely just certainly had to be one of his uh two picks here before the second lot of bands this map is just a uh, brutal I, I would almost say just sort of like a speed consistency map but some of the speed in here is really really brutal and is gonna really challenge zudi yeah i mean not even that this map also has quite a bit of aim in there and quite a bit of difficult control sections added on top this is just a generally ridiculous mechanics map uh, but that raw speed is definitely its main factor, which is why it's been placed as the normal 5. Uh, unlike the normal 5 from last week, this is not a map that anyone can play. Uh, this is definitely a speed mechanics player's dream. And of course, somebody like Emrek thrives on a map like this. And uh, with those stamina streams coming through, the inevitability of this matchup is that Emrek does have quite a bit more skill sets that he is not only more comfortable on, but just simply better on. And tapping being one of the most obvious ones is even notorious for struggling on those raw mechanic mechanic maps. Has known to improve on her tapping for a little bit, but not enough to a close degree of being able to outshine Emrek on a significant level. Actually being a giant struggle here, those big oh. streams come through. Emrek still holds on to the full combo, and these streams get really long, hitting the entire thing here. And this map's really short. Emrek's holding on to a full combo halfway through the map. Yeah, just Zudi absolutely falling apart on those longest streams, and you can't blame her, just 260 BPM shred, just long streams on some of these, and they're not even that, you know, they're fairly spaced as well, they're not even in the realm of, like, being able to double tap, so, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just oh. unbelievable performance right here for Emrek as he continues to hold on to the FC, it's already done and gone, Zudi on the 79%, just unable to hold on to anything, but Emrek, a 98 FC, and let's see if we can close it out, Shiva. Is he going to be able to finish it off? There's only a little bit of the map left to go, and the full combo is still intact. 98 accuracy as well for Emrek. This is incredible here. Can he hold on to the very ending? There might be just a little bit left to go, but it's not locked left. A little bit of strength. Oh, no, no. And he drops towards the very end. No FC for Emrek, but still 885,000 score. Incredible score. Only one miss with great ac as well. 97.45 percent accuracy in a map like this is really absurd but uh regardless i think this was going to go to emrek anyway zudi just simply not the player for a map like this and who can blame her this is ridiculously mechanics heavy and a player like emrek can abuse this easily so a very safe and easy win there for emrek and uh, hopefully zudi can go into another pick here uh her second pick to come through now what is that going to be i was predicting potentially a hidden one or a hidden three angle zudi very capable on control very capable on aim and the hidden comfort leans in her favor by quite a bit uh it's just always a little uneasy with these picks maps because emrek the the simple counterpoint to anything you do against emrek is that emrek's just the best player in the world man like he can literally do anything yeah it always is kind of the worry when you're going up against a player like this especially it's just such an uphill battle and it's so difficult when you're just going up, up against a player who is just good at everything and not only is he good at everything but zudi has that weakness in that speed in those in those very heavy stamina and speed picks and it just makes it even harder because not only do you have to battle really hardly on your strong picks but then your opponent just has picks that you have almost no chance of winning and when we just saw that it was literally was no world where zudi could have won that no mod five and dare i say emrek might even have another one still left in the pool that is going to be pretty strong for him but it is going to be that hidden one as you mentioned i think yeah probably leaning into that hidden one or hidden three was a good option uh also, maybe just going for some raw aim in general is going to probably work out decently well for Zudi, but it's going to be uh, this hidden one, which is fairly, I would say it's a bit of a mech tech map, a lot of mechanics and a lot of tech and really, really brutal aim section, actually, I think about a little bit before halfway in this map, which is something to look out for. We get some unbelievable cross screens, so curious to see if uh, either player can get through that. Yeah, Chaos Eater is just one of those simple aim mechanics tests with lots of mech tech applied on it on top. You've got a few streamy sections, you've got a few techy slider sections, and of course you've got some ridiculous aim sections. That hidden comfort on top of that is going to be really valuable here for Zunita. But this being such high AR is going to be more of a comfort point here for Emrek. It's not going to be as uh, intensive as he needs. He doesn't have to really lock in as hard for the hidden as, this, uh, as I said before, quite high AR. He's going to be able to adapt this pretty quickly, but still, 
can't help but think Zuddy has some decent odds on this. The aim spike on this map is absolutely ridiculous. And if both of these players build up any big combo uh, before that jump section, that might just simply be the oh. make or break. This map, once again, Matt, is ridiculously short. Nearly TV size here. And you see these stream sessions come through here. Both players still holding on, but Zuddy oh, no. is going to drop. But traded very quickly by Emmerich. That little sporadic jump section where it goes from a small space into a giant one does end up tripping them both. So it's not going to be too bad. We're getting very close to that jump spike section. Yeah, the jump session's coming up. Combos equalized, scores equalized, and I think it's about to come up here any moment. Some insane cross screens. I will be very impressed to see both these players hit them, and here they come in oh now. Zuni goes down, Emrek! Emrek oh, oh. misses on one of them. Oh, unbelievable. Still anyone's game, though. It's about 5k. Oh, and with that miss, Zuni's gonna take the lead, but then she misses again herself. It's tied up. It is neck and neck into the ending These of the match. Brutal. About a quarter There's remaining. Triples. Those triples tripped up Emrek here. Zudi still has a small combo advantage by about 50, and it's climbing very quickly here. This map's really short, so any combo really matters here. But Zudi oh, drops, Zudi. and Emrek has a chance to put this back. There's only a little bit of the map left to go, and I don't know if there's too many of those devilish sections left to go. Emrek might be able to hold on. There's a little bit left, a few sliders, and a few space streams, and Emrek still holds. Oh. Zudi, despite trying so hard and hitting the harder parts here, the bigger combo towards the very end, and that tragic miss just afterwards still leads to the win there from Emrek. That was a doozy, and could have easily gone in favor of Zudi had that miss not come up that could have been sealed but that one little choke after really dominating the harder sections leads to the loss and another breakpoint deficit here for Zudi this is really tough especially before that ban stage what do you do yeah. in this situation only 30k difference man we started to see those streams come in towards the ending and you, you have to think, you have to hope, you know, maybe there's a chance actually now for Zudi, just one little chain miss, all it would take from Emrek to just plummet his score by like 20k. But he hit all the streams and then he missed in the ending. Zudi hit that ridiculous ending with those sliders, but it just, there was no combo there. So very, very valiant effort and a good score from both players, but Emrek just barely taking it. And he's going to go into this DT1, which, yeah, I think this was uh, the next pick that makes sense for Emrek. It was either going to be this or potentially that No Mod 2, but I do feel like uh, Zudi can probably play the No Mod 2 to a, a decent uh, standard, but uh, I'm still expecting her to probably ban it coming up here on the on the ban phase, but um, it's going to be this DT1 out first, which, again, this one, it's just your pretty stock standard DT1 type map, but, uh, you know, you've got your some longer bursts in there, some quints, and it's 275 BPM, so... Zudi definitely going to struggle on those tapping sections. Yeah, this DT1, despite being that conventional, that, that pretty regular DT high AR aim, AR 10.5, this map has a lot more of that speed and finger control in there as well. Uh, this is truly a mechanic player's dream. You know, someone like Emrek thrives on a map like this. So, um, unfortunately, Zudi is not able to ban it as Emrek picks it just before that second ban stage. And... Uh, this map is also very long maps. Consistency is really important. And a player like Zudi, who uh, isn't really as comfortable on uh, more the tapping side of this map, not necessarily the aim. And Zudi has proven to be very potent on those double time aim maps, but it's more that speed and that bursty sections in between that might lead to the trip up from her. Um, so that's what we're going to be hoping for if you're on the side of Emrek here. But so far, so good for both players holding on past that intro section. But we've got a lot to go. And that big build up oh section God. that leads to the drop from Zuni. And Emrek still holds on through that section with 100% accuracy. Yeah, I mean, there's that little bit of tapping that we were mentioning. Just too hard for Zuni to hold on through that. It's just, it's not just a quint, not just a couple quints to get through. It's like just a whole section of tapping there and some longer bursts. It's just too much to ask at 275 BPM. But Emrek. Not too much to ask for him as... Man, Shiba, I would love to see Emrek just get the first DTFC on this map in, in tournament. Maybe it's a bit early that, to say that, but uh, that, it's better hey, to curse that, him now than later. That would be that <laughs> would be awesome, you know. We've seen some first-time FCs on quite a few really iconic maps. Uh, Forum getting the first, uh, the second FC, second two only himself, on uh, uh, Deconstruction Star yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, sorry, last week. Along with a few other really good swords, like the first FC on Ryu Sagan from Malchevsky. And uh, we may see something similar like that coming through on this one here. Emrek still holds on. Big jump section to come through. Triangle sections are hit from him. And as we go past that halfway mark, Emrek shows no sign of backing down. Zudi drops once again. Uh, 94 accuracy as well. Another drop there from her. Simply put, not the kind of map that she wants to be going on against Emrek. And Emrek is absolutely dominating. We're about two-thirds of the way through now. And Emrek is passing this test with flying colors. It might just happen. 
So about a little bit less than half of the map remaining, so it's in his sight. Running towards the light at the end of the tunnel right now. About a third of the map remaining, 1250 combos. We have a little bit of a reprieve here, but still some brutal sections coming up. Can Emrek continue to hold that long burst? And there's one of those difficult kick sliders, linear jump sections, both players hitting it, but Emrek still got the FC. Can he do this, Shiras? We move to the final quarter of this map. We move into these triangle jump jumps here. He keeps Big hitting them. Trend. Emrek is just going. No way. Oh, there's no way. Emrek is starting to approach that number one combo on the map, Mavs. 1700 from UK being the number one combo, 1751. Emrek is 200 combo away, 100 combo away from doing that now. And as we start to approach the final quarter of the map here, the difficulty will start to ramp up. We're getting into a ramp up now with the speed sections here. Emrek oh. still holds on. Oh, he did that second ki. The final ki is here now. Can Emrek close this out? This could be one of the best scores of the tournament, Mavs. Is it gonna be on hold on? Sentimental Skyscraper might just be his. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be the final combo. Number one combo here for Emrek. Oh, this is one of the map. The ending section to come through. This could be absolutely absurd. Emrek. We're gonna see it. 99.4 rank. What? The player in the world. He's still doing it as we start to approach the ending section. Oh, oh no! no! Just barely, but still. Is. That is number oh. one on the map. That is incredible. What more do you expect? What can you do with that? That act is amazing. That combo is amazing. Still 1.1 million. No major act drops. Just one miss was all that it was. Oh all that it was, Mavs. A heartbreaking miss from Emrek. How the hell do you do that in a tournament match? This what is the Emrek the we know from the last Corsair's close. The guy who won it all. This is the Emrek that doesn't seed number seven in the tournament. This is the real Emrek coming in and showing what he's capable of. That is an unbelievable performance. One that I doubt will be matched by anyone on that DT1 all tournament. That is uh, incredible stuff from Emrek. Just barely missing the FC is so heartbreaking, but still possibly will be up there for one of the uh, best scores of the tournament for sure. That was a uh, ridiculous hell? stuff from Emrek. Look, but... Mavs, oh, I was man. expecting Emrek to do well. I was expecting Emrek to dominate. I was not expecting Emrek to choke the first full combo on this map. I was not expecting that, all right? This map is, is levels of consistency that are far beyond your traditional double time ones with general crazy mixes of skill sets. But, you know, if there's anyone on the planet who could do something like that, it's Emrek. And he just barely missed out on it. Uh, that is also, from what I believe, a very high PP play. Oh my god! That was... Okay, Wait, how chat, much was it? Chat, that was a choke of the PP record in tournament full stop. The PP record from Karcher is 8.58 from what I remember. Emrek hit 8.30 with that score. Oh. 830 PP in match. Wait, that was so he might have got it if he had there? That, was a, that would have been tournament PP record. Oh man. Oh, that is Emmerich. brutal. Bloody that hell. is brutal to see, actually. Just barely missing the PP record in 20, as you'd expect from the number one player. But man, that's heartbreaking. But we are going to see the bands come through nonetheless for the uh, second phase of the match here. 4 0 up to Emrek. He's just playing out of his mind right now. And there's going to be the hidden two ban out from Emrek, which is just your AR8, and it's pretty much just aim. It's just nothing but aim on that AR8. So you're going to be taking that one out and then. Zudi actually going to be opting to take out the DT3, which is your AR 10.3 sort of alt map. Not opting to ban the Nomad 2, so probably something we expect Emrek to pick here. Um, but it is going to be Zudi's pick first, and what has she got for us, I wonder? I'm probably, I mean, the hidden one went fairly well for her. I'm probably expecting just some more aim uh, to come in. Maybe, maybe that Nomad 1. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to see what she's going to go for. It's going to be the tech number no four. four. Interesting. Okay. I do respect this pick because you need a, obviously a very powerful tech player. I was leaning towards the hidden three, to be honest, Mavs, as that still had not been banned. But hey, I respect yeah. this number four pick. This is some ridiculous slide attack. And if Zudi's comfortable on something like this, then I, I wouldn't be surprised to see her win this. She is very capable, but you can't ever doubt what Emrek can do. This is definitely another map that leans massively in with that aim control and that very rapid aim style, and someone like Emra can easily capitalize off of that. But still, if Zudi has picked this over maps like Hidden 3 and Nomad 1, then there could be an option here for Zudi to pounce with. I'm surprised to not see the Nomad 1 picked, as that is probably one of the more coin-flippy maps that Zudi might be able to clutch with. But, it won't be the case. It will be the Nomad 4.
This is her chance to finally get a point on the board. And if this is lost, Emmerich is one map away from winning it all. Yeah, I mean, this Nomad 4 this week, uh, definitely probably going to expect this one to be a lot less popular than last week's Nomad 4. This one has some ridiculous sliders. I mean, like, sliders that no one is just going to be able to hit 300s on. Like, everyone is going to be act tanking on some of these sliders in this map. It is just cross-screen, like, high-velocity sliders just constantly throughout some of the key eyes, and it's it's just completely and utterly ridiculous to watch. Completely brutal, so... We'll see how these players manage to handle them, but we are going to see some humongous act drops. That's all I know as we move into the first GI of the map here. Oh and my here God. you go. Some of these sliders already coming in. And yeah, I mean, we're going to just see massive act tanks on a lot of these slider sections later on. There goes Zudi. First blood goes down to Zenator. Emrek still holds on with great accuracy as well. No act drops on those giant sliders there, maps. A good sign for the future on this. You've still got two, two three quarters of the map left to go. Giant oh sliders. My, yeah. Finally, a small act drop there from Emrek, but still hit by Zudi. Full combo remains intact for him with those giant spikes of slider aim. What else can you do? That one third control section is hit by both players. Big stream here, missed by Zudi, and still hit here from Emrek. He is holding on to everything at the moment. As we get into the second third of the map here, slider jumps come through. Giant ramp up here. You have to still pay attention to those sliders as they jump. They're big enough to lead to a slider break here. Any part of this map here can lead to a traumatic break that can shatter your combo. But for Emrek, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't even mean Jack. He's hitting everything, and Zudi falls once again. It's getting more and more dire the more this map runs, and Emrek is shadowing that 1,000 combo mark, and there it is. Halfway through the map, full combo still intact. Yeah, this is unbelievable performance from Emrek. I mean, these sliders are going to get even harder, but the fact that he's still got a 98.8% right now is just really, really impressive. So you can see some of these sliders, they're going to start to pick up a bit more in the second half, but... Oh, I mean, Emrek, he wouldn't oh. do it again, would he? The cut right. streams on the kick sliders hits them. Both go. players hitting it. And here you go, this, these sliders. I mean, how can you 300 all these? Dude, dude, okay, yeah. this is a ridiculous. Emrek, what are you doing? Enough, please. What is he doing? Zunit is hitting everything as well, and this is just a great performance from Harrow as well. And Emrek oh, finally falls, falls down. But God, that is just ridiculous that Zuni still hits everything though. Pay attention to this. This is going to be a crazy popper from her. Look at her. She hits the entire section. Zuni? That, that's a, okay, listen, that is very impressive. I, I will salute Zuni for that one. Hitting that entire piece of that section there. We're going to the final quarter of the map. Unfortunately though, Zuni's accuracy is a serious issue here. You're hoping for a fall apart here from Emrek. If you want to see any odds of her winning this, Space Stream comes through. Final key message comes through. And Zuni oh. with the slider break will spell the end. And that is yeah. going to be match point for Emrek for sure now. It's barely slider breaking there from Sudi, but unfortunately it just wouldn't have been enough there. Accuracy is too low, and her accuracy is probably what I expect from most players on a map like this, but um, yeah. Emrek justifies odds, and I'm sure there's a couple other players in the tournament that are going to go ahead and do the same thing on a map like this. I would I would be nothing but astounded if we saw like a 99% on this map. I refuse to believe it would ever happen. Malachevsky like exists, brother. Malachevsky exists. He exists? I'm just saying. <laughs> so I would be blown away. But the guy, the guy has been in yeah. the best form we've seen in ages, so you never know. We could see it. But yeah, Emrek, I mean, how on earth do you board a 98 act on this? That's not funny. That's not fair. One miss Emrek is well. not fair, Mavs. He's not fair. He's just too good. He's not. Bro what was like developed this? in a lab. Like he was literally he, developed yeah. to play Osu. Like Dude, it's just unreal. He's a superhero from another planet and then gets experimented in a lab as a baby. So he's literally like <laughs> double Superman. Like this isn't, this isn't funny how well he's playing right now. Like, oh my God. Like, what do you do if you're Zudi here, man? You're one map off of losing, and Emrek's just decimated almost every single map. The only map he hasn't destroyed on is Hidden One. Like, everything else has been ridiculous. I mean, you gotta, all you gotta say is if anyone is in the lower bracket right now, like, every player in the lower bracket is just terrified that Emrek is down there. Yeah. It's, it's just gotta be one of the scariest things. But the funny thing is, with how the seeding ended up with this, uh, with this tourney, with Emrek seeding seven and Forum seeding number two, we could have seen it would have been either Emrek or worst other player in the lower bracket, which either of them is just it's just petrifying. But it is I, gonna be Emrek, and what do you do, man? Yeah, I mean you've got a lot of options here. You've still got 
quite a few choices. Uh, I would not I would not advise going the Nomad 1 here for Emre, as that is definitely a much more coin floppy map. It's very consistent, and for both of these players, they're definitely capable of holding on to the majority. It's that ending section that's really brutal. It won't be the case. It will be the Nomad 3 here picture from Emrek. This is some ridiculous levels of aim control here. And uh, Zuni, despite being capable of doing well on this, I'm not surprised to see Emrek pick this. This is quite agile in its aiming style, but still really cryptic and really out of nowhere. It's kind of in your face, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, this Nomad 3, I mean, this is a pretty surprising pick, I think, to go for for Emrek right now in this this point. I think I maybe would have expected the Nomad 2, but yeah, this Nomad 3, very, very heavy reading in this one. And of course, I mean, a ridiculous amount of aim control as well, but that AR 9.3, although doesn't seem that low, you know, AR 9.3, you know, we can read that for sure. But with how dense this map is, I mean, look at this. It doesn't look like AR 9.3, does it? <laughs> it just doesn't. Yeah, no. Now, this is brutal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no, this map is ridiculous. That intersection immediately shows a good a good taste of how difficult this map is going to be. Consistently difficult aim control patterns here with low wave hits of hitting control as well. It's just not funny how hard this map is. Uh, it's thankfully for Zudi, those early drops from Emrek does seem to be timed in her favor. We've still got quite a bit of map left to go, excuse me. This is still decently short though. We're already about a third of the way through nearly halfway now, and as those zigzags start to trip up Zudi, that's going to give Emrek that combo lead, and that score lead as well. We've still got a bit halfway map to go, but Emrek with this combo is going to look really good. I believe there's a zigzag section coming up soon. That's going to be really, really tough. That might lead to that drop that Zudi desperately needs, but so far it's not looking good for her. Yeah, I mean, it's oh. just looking brutal for Zudi. And these, oh, this is some of the harder patterns in the map now. And we only have a third of the map remaining already. Neither player able to hit it. Emrek getting a huge chain miss, but Zudi actually getting through more of that section than Emrek. But it's still a 60k deficit for Zudi. And yeah, I mean, just because of the max scores, it is a much bigger lead than you may first think. This is just going to be too tough, I think, for Zudi to maybe bring back, especially with no combo and an eighth of the map remaining. Yeah, unfortunately not. Too little, too late here for Zunita. Just simply nothing that she can do. Emrek is on an absolute tear. Hits those ending sections beautifully. And what a way to end it off. Emrek with one of the most dominant showings we've seen in this tournament so far. With a 6 to nothing victory against Zunita. Tragically for Zunita, man, she's had to go against some ridiculous opponents. Imagine going against an Enri who's in ridiculous form in round of 16. And then going up against Emrek afterwards. I would have favored her more against Forum. Like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, poor Zudi. I feel bad, but eh, that's all the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. And Emrek will be advancing here, uh, continuing on his streak of destruction, I'm sure will be carried on later on in the win in the loser's bracket for him. But a great, great win. And we nearly saw a tournament PP record, Mavs. Yeah, I mean, despite this being a 6 0 sweep, that was. Uh... Still pretty hype to see almost a tournament PP record come through, just barely one missing and like the last 15 combo costs it. But yeah, just unbelievable performance from Emrek. This is the Emrek we know, and this is the Emrek that you're used to seeing. It's it's just crazy to see him come into this tournament qualifying, um, you know, seventh seed. It's just, uh, it's just tough. Uh, yeah, but, this is- Because he's much better than the seventh seed player, which is I mean, the, the scary thing. What's ironic about this is that it's similar to the to what Zudi's team did in OWC. Where yeah, that's true. They just didn't, they, I think they had a different scenario, but that qualifier's um, scratch up led to just a very jumbled bracket and very strange and crazy matchups super early. And Amrak being in loser's bracket in semifinals, is not what I think anyone on this planet would have expected, but I don't think Emrek really cares. He's still going to shred everything at the moment. And uh, yeah, dominant win from him. So uh, yeah, we've got another match coming up in uh, quite a while now, in two and a half hours between Krilla and Jacone. Before you guys leave, make sure you check out Momokai, a very loyal sponsor of Corsace here with some incredible keypads that I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss out on. Also, follow the Corsace manga on Corsace Twitter. They do some epic stories, and I believe there was an issue uh, coming out recently, which could be your liking. So feel free to check that out and enjoy the read. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you for Krilla vs. Chikone in two and a half hours' time. This map was two this map was a half an hour long. This match was half an hour long, maps. <laughs> I oh, dude, not even that. 28 minutes, 25 minutes, basically. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs>
Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Go check out Momokai. Go check out the manga. I'm Asad Shiba, joined by the incredible Mavs, and we'll see you next time. Take care.